Coming up next on the GC Report, will games die? Will the industry be dead if it doesn't continue to be innovative? David Cage thinks so. And is Apple coming out with an iPad Mini? I thought that's what an iPhone was. Let's start the show. This is a Game Caviar production. Welcome to the GC Report. I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios. I got all your news and stories in the gaming community. This is for the week of the 2nd through the 6th of July. I hope everybody had a great 4th of July. Let's dive right into it. David Cage, the guy behind Heavy Rain, the PS3 exclusive, uh, says that if the gaming industry does not continue to be innovative, then it will die. I personally agree with that, but at the same time, I believe that the gaming industry is ever evolving and that it will not get stagnant because of the importance of it and how big it's gotten within the past couple years. So, And he's proven that he can deliver uh, with innovative games like Heavy Rain and the game that they have coming out. So the gaming industry does need to stay innovative and I think that they won't have a problem with that. Alright, let's see here. Activision has a new developmental studio in Europe, and they're coming out with games for handheld devices. Of course, they're coming out with the uh, Black Ops 2 Declassified Vita game coming out this fall. Uh, we got to keep an eye out on that. If it's Call of Duty, it's going to sell, but the thing that I'm worried about is the quality of the games. They have a tough enough time making games on consoles. How are they going to transition that over to handheld devices? and cell phones but we'll see big news today okay this month the uh, Google Galaxy Nexus 7 tablet is coming out a lot of other companies are getting really nervous about that it is a, a very good tablet uh, something that anybody can go get it's not very expensive like I said it's very cheap there have been rumors setting the internet on fire that Apple is planning on coming out with an iPad mini uh, that will go up against the Google Galaxy Nexus tablet now, there is rumored to be a Kindle Fire 2 coming out, one with a camera and 4G and one without the camera and without the 4G. And there's, uh, that's going to stay with a 7-inch screen, but there is rumored to be one that's going to be bigger. The tablet market is ever-shifting. You know, you had the iPad and then you had the Kindle and then now you have the Kindle Fire and the Google Galaxy Nexus and then you have the, the Transformer and uh, whatever it's called. The Google Galaxy Nexus is taking the, the center stage in the tablets. If Apple comes out with an iPad, many people are going to buy it, but it's going to be stupid because it's just going to look like a bigger iPhone. I don't understand why they need to do that. It's going to be expensive and it's going to be too overpriced. I think Apple... I love their products, they make good products, but as far as tablets go, for them to release a tablet that can be uh, competitive with other tablets, they're going to have to shut down the price. They're going to have to cut the price, and I don't, I don't think they're really quite uh, ready to do something like that. Now let's see here, Modern Warfare 3 Terminal is coming out for free on July 18th. That, that is not the right picture of Terminal. That is a very good movie but that's not the terminal that I'm talking about there it is alright July 18th terminal is coming to Modern Warfare 3 of course anybody who played Call of Duty knows that terminal is a very popular map from Modern Warfare 2 it is going to be released it's going to be free and it's coming out on Xbox first I don't have a date for PS3 and PC but it is coming to all of the systems for free let's see here Sony has uh, delivered patents for a smaller PS3. They have already released a slim PS3 and now they're going to release a slimmer PS3. Keep an eye out for that. Uh, another big news for Sony. They bought Gaikai, the cloud gaming service that has been rumored for months even since when E3 came out. We all thought that they were going to announce it then. I guess the deal wasn't done. Now it's done. Set in stone. Sony bought Gaikai. They will, uh, what is it, they will keep up the deals that Gaikai had, so I guess Gaikai had some sort of service that they were setting up with Samsung. So Samsung is essentially going to be paying Sony, which is a good move for Sony to have your competitors pay you. And finally, there will be a Halo 4 limited Xbox 360 edition. Now, Halo 4 is coming out this fall, and Microsoft is just known for doing this. They bring out a big game and they make a special Xbox for it. I have the Modern Warfare 3 edition 
and now it's going to be a Halo edition. I mean, it looks pretty cool. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It looks. If I was in the market for getting a new Xbox, I would definitely get it. But I like my Modern Warfare 3. No price yet, but it's probably going to be comparable with whatever other special edition Xbox that comes out. Anyway. That's the news for today. I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios. You have been watching the GC Report. All the gaming news. Like, comment, subscribe on this video. And please spread the word about Game Caviar. Look us up on Facebook. Facebook.com Game Caviar. And look me up on Twitter. Twitter.com slash not having it. Thanks for joining us. I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.